Okay, today we'll be opening up this HKS Type 1 oil filter and this Walmart Supertech oil filter, number MP6607. And I got this HKS oil filter on Amazon for $30.25. And I got this Supertech oil filter at Walmart for $5.97. Why such a big price difference between these two oil filters? Well, let's find out. So let's get started. Let's get some Get your here. Here. Okay, let's look at the HKS oil filter first. We'll check out the box. It has a neodymium magnet, high efficiency filter, super stealth frame. If we look over here, it says made in Malaysia. And that's about all the important information on this. It's got some sizes here for the gasket, but everything else is written in Malaysia, so. All right, let's open this filter up, see what it looks like. And I couldn't find a date code up here. I tried a blue the UV light, and that didn't work. I'm thinking this might be the date code. But how to decipher that, I don't know. Okay, and it has this plastic covering over it. Okay, so this filter has six inlet holes. Looks to be a silicone and drain back valve. And that core is, I don't know, I didn't check it out because it was all covered up with the plastic. I don't know, we'll have to see what that is. It looks like a bypass valve down below. And it looks like it's got this oiled nitro gasket, O-ring gasket. Yep, fits inside the groove there. Okay, so let's look at the SuperTech oil filter. And this filter is rated for 20,000 miles, made in USA, 99% efficiency, and that's at removing particles greater than 30 microns. All right, let's open this filter up, see what it looks like. And this has a date code of 102422AB, product of USA. This is a sticker. This is a sticker. The other one was printed material on there. And this filter has 13 inlet holes, nylon core, bypass valve down below, about four grooves there for threads, and a nitro rubber gasket, which comes off fairly easy. Okay, so they look uh, a little bit different here on the base plates. Let's check these two filters out. We'll cut them open and see why this one costs so much more. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. HKS weighs 199.4 grams. The SuperTech weighs 162.3 grams. Let's check out the base plates. The SuperTech weighs 82.7 grams. The HKS weighs 92.4 grams. Let's look at them up close. They both got about the same amount of grooves for threads. Pretty close, yeah. I would say they're about the same. The gaskets stick out. Probably a little more in a super tick. I mean, they're, they're two different gaskets. This is more like a O-ring type gasket that fits inside the groove there. But the super tech's got more inlet holes. A lot more inlet holes. Okay, and they both got silicone and drain back valves. And I put them the wrong way, so that's why that don't fit right. <laughs> okay, there they go like that. See, but they cover up the holes nicely, and I don't see no problem with either one. I mean, this one probably fits a little bit better, the HKS. But they both look good. Okay, filter elements. Okay, that's off the Super Tech. 30.7 grams. 54.8 grams for the HKS. And the HKS, it does have this magnet on here. This neodymium magnet. I didn't know if I was going to have it on there, but yep, it's got one glued on. And it's magnetic. <laughs> I 
So that's pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at this one. It's got metal end caps, bypass valve right here. Nice and clean. Got a metal crimp seam. And I counted 68 pleats. Nicely spaced. But I don't have no, no specs for this filter as far as micron rating or what this filter is made out of. I couldn't find anything. Okay, and the Supertech. Supertech has a glued seam right here. Metal end caps. And this filter media is a natural and synthetic filter media with a micron rating 99% for particles greater than 30 microns. And the pleats here are also nicely spaced. This uh, Supertech has a lot less pleats, 51 pleats. So it has like 17 less pleats. Also nice and clean. Okay, bypass valve. So this is the bypass valve for the Supertech. And that's bypass valve here for the HKS. Let's check the cans out. Supertech weighs 34.7 grams, 42.3 grams for the HKS. I was getting point five nine for the point six zero. I'm gonna call it point six zero for the HKS. It's it's a thicker can. The Super Tech I was getting about point four one. Yeah, point four point four zero actually for the Super Tech. Okay. Yeah you can tell it's a little thinner can. Okay and the HKS is one point three two inches wide. And the Super Tech is 1.51 inches wide. I would say this one's got more filter media, the HKS. Even though this is the, the Super Tech's a little larger, but you got a lot more pleats on this one. Although it depends how deep they are, too. So, what do you guys think? Let's stretch these out and uh, see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, here they are stretched out. And the Supertech oil filter is 36 and a half inches long. And the HKS oil filter is 56 and a half inches long. Okay, so let's get the thickness on these guys. The HK oil filter is 0.67 millimeters thick. And the Supertech is 0.88 millimeters thick. Let's look at them up close. There's a filtering side, back side. And let's take a look at them under a microscope. So under a microscope, the Supertech looks like it'd do a better job of filtering. This HKS oil filter has got a lot of light spots in it. You can see the light coming through filter media. But you have about 20 more square inches of more filter media with the HKS. But if you have the room, you can actually use a bigger Supertech. You can use the 7317 oil filter, which is a bigger filter and would give you more filter media. I just put these two together because they're relatively the same size on the outside. So let's look at the rest of the filter. And I forgot to mention earlier, it's got a coil spring. And this is what the inner core looks like. Strange inner core. Never seen one like that. It's metal. I guess these guys are kind of equal out here, huh? <laughs> as far as the uh, flow goes. So you got this stamp leaf spring bypass. You got this kind of bypass. The I'd say the the base plates and and the gasket that pretty much pretty much a tie. And the cans, well, 
this HKS is, is a thicker can, so I'd give that to the HKS. You can see all the overspray in here, though. And about the only feature this has that's pretty cool is this here. But is this worth like uh, $25 more for this filter? Mm, I don't know. What do you guys think? So I think this filter here is way overpriced. What do you guys think about these two filters? And with that being said, I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The filter media for the HKS filter weighs 9.1 grams. The filter media for the SuperTech filter weighs 7.6 grams.